This next poem is, uh, I wrote this after reading the book, Frenchman Desire Good Children. So for all the people from New Orleans, I guess you might, it might make sense to you. If you're not from here, go get the book, and then it'll make sense to you. Chapatula goes to the market every day. He's a fisherman. After running through Julia and three Greek muses, he comes to Felicity. Napoleon plows through the Roman Colosseum, gathering steam at a camp headed straight for Chapatulas. Chapatulas have already heard the muffled submissions to Napoleon's fury after passing through Milan and Constantinople. So he rates to warn the Chippewa that they shouldn't cross Napoleon. The Chippewa like to stay pleasant and close to harmony. So they make an about face at Louisiana. Chapatula runs up the other side of the river to warn the other Chippewa. Instead, he runs into Eleanor, Amelia, Robert, and Dubasat living his version of the movie Groundhog Day titled, Where Did All the White People Come From? In New Orleans, religious run from nuns, and saints double-cross each other like two-bit hustlers. St. Claude crossed St. Philip. St. Philip became so distraught, he ran straight for the bourbon. St. Claude used to run with good children, He's a renaissance man. Every day, he's running to music, art, painters, desire, and piety. Every day in New Orleans, St. Claude runs from a flood to Poland and France and Spain. Martin Luther King runs into the Spanish governors, Galvez and Miro. They try convincing him that straight shooters, but every day they meet up with, with St. Bernard and end up being crooked. Jeanette's constantly running to Monticello. When is she gonna understand that the relationships are dead in the street? They all started out being smooth. Madison developed a complex because he was too short. Shirley bemoaned the fact that she didn't have any curves. Now the Frenchman. The Frenchman, it is running to law, hope, benefits, abundance, treasure, pleasure, and yes, humanity. People always whispering about the Frenchman. Well, I can tell you, I saw him when he disappeared into the quarter, and I saw him when he came out. I can assure you, that Frenchman was never straight. Trumpet, y'all give it up one time for Mr. Troy Sawyer on trumpet.
On the bass drum, that's Mr. Jesse Moore back there. On the boom booms, we got Mr. Julian Addison. And this is my wild man right here, Mr. Wild Man Ivory Holmes. <laughs> 